For years, the NFL has worked on an issue that's prompted difficult questions. Why is a league with 70% of its players African-American led by head coaches who've been predominantly white? When teams began making coaching changes at the end of the 2018 season, the black and white issue came into stark contrast. Five of the eight fired coaches were black, and so far, none of the coaches hired to replace them is black. Steve Wilkes was fired in Arizona after just one season, winning only three of 16 games, replaced by a white college coach who was fired after earning a losing record over six seasons. Well, the league's kind of going backwards. Um, each year, uh, league officials talk about the need for improving diversity, increasing opportunities for uh, people of color, um, a lot of them former players. Fritz Pollard was the first black NFL head coach in 1921. Just two black head coaches are on rosters today, Pittsburgh's Mike Tomlin and Anthony Lynn of the Los Angeles Chargers. It's something the league addressed back in 2003, creating the Rooney Rule under the threat of a lawsuit. It requires teams to at least interview a minority candidate for each head coach opening. Over time, though, critics said the rule was just a public relations move. The group that works with the NFL to address minority hiring says there's still a lot of work to be done. We feel good about where we're going in the long run, even though we could say we feel disappointed a little bit what happened in this last hiring cycle. In a statement, the NFL said it has made great strides in advancing efforts to promote diversity and inclusion throughout the league, including at the head coaching position. One week before the Super Bowl and race is once again in NFL headlines as its sidelines have turned whiter. Ron Mott, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.